teachers, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, we love to talk everything special education. Please click the subscribe button and make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Today's topic that we are going to be talking about is activities for teaching your students the skill of making change. This can be a tough concept for students to really grasp, so that's why I've created so many different activities because repetition is really key when practicing the skill of making change. All of the activities I'm going to be talking about today are linked in the description of this YouTube video or you can get them in my TPT store under Activity Teacher. Please comment below and let me know what grades you teach because I love to get to know you guys. Let's get started. All of my making change activities are leveled because as you know, all of our students are at a different level. So I like to do the same activities but have students do it at their own individual level. The first activity I have is an around the classroom scavenger hunt. So these are actually task cards that I use as a scavenger hunt. So here are the three different levels that I have. I also color code the levels. So sometimes I have all of the students do the same scavenger hunt or sometimes I will tell student number one to go look for the purple cards or student number two to go for, look for the orange cards and so on. I like to tape these around the classroom and then have students record their answers on this recording sheet. So of course you can use task cards as just task cards. There's a million different ways you can use task cards or you can use them as an around the classroom scavenger hunt to get your students out of their seats and moving. The next activity that I have here is a cut and paste worksheet. My students still really need a lot of work with using scissors, so that's why I love cut and paste activities. So students will use scissors and glue to cut and paste the correct amount of change into the box. So they will put this into the correct place. Third, I have a matching worksheet, and I really love to do these on my smart board. You can also obviously print them out too. I'll have students come up to the board and draw a line to the correct answer. Next is just, just a making change packet, and this is a fill in the blank packet. So here's the amount that the student paid and then the item and then they will write in how much change they were supposed to get back from the cashier. The next activity that I have for you is a this or that making change game. So students will determine which side has the correct amount of change. They can either hold up one finger to vote for the first option or two fingers to vote for the second option, but my favorite way to play this game and to get your students moving is to have your students stand up and go to the side of the room that matches the correct answer. This activity, like all of the other activities that I've already talked about, are leveled, so you can pick a level to meet your students' needs. We'll just go with the first level. Which is the correct amount of change needed? So you can see here that the student paid 25 cents and the price of the apple is 22 cents. So what is the correct amount of change? The answer is three cents. So students will either move to that side of the room or they will hold up two fingers. So I think you guys get it. I'll just kind of flip through here so you can see all of the slides here. And here are the different levels with dollar bills. The last game that I have to share with you guys is Kaboom. You can make two to four teams of students taking turns each team will choose a number. Students will click the number and the slide will either have a math problem or a kaboom. If the team gets a kaboom, they lose their turn. If the team solves the math problem correctly, they get a point. And if they get it wrong, they do not receive a point. So we'll say team number one picks number two. How much change is needed? So they paid $5 and the price is $2. So the students need to figure out that they should be getting $3 back. Next we'll say students pick number three. They got a kaboom, so this team happens to lose their turn. And I'll just flip through some of these slides so you can see these also. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these activities and got some really good ideas. Again, all of these activities are linked in the description of this YouTube video or you can get them on my TPT store, Activity Teacher. Go ahead and comment below and let me know what grades you teach. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Happy teaching.